Hi and welcome to a new tutorial in AutoDesk Scan Vendor. In this tutorial, I will explain to you how you can make a cylinder block in AutoDesk Scan Vendor. That's the fourth part to making this cylinder block. Let's continue our work. Choose this face and go to circle. Put here 30 and put these distance. We have 20 from here and 60, 67 from here. You can just go to here, cut it. You can use two and select this face click ok and you have done uh, this cut don't cross this face the same thing in the other side select this one and put circle with 30 diameter then the distance from here we have 20 and from from the from outside it's put here 80 87 then go to your model extruded the same thing to choose choose this face and click OK and you can repeat this with this button choose that direction put a 90 here and switch the direction put 6 here and click OK save your file then it's time to add the rib here ribs here if you can do that select this one and go to sketch see from here then convert this one to see the this axe then go to circle put here 135 put wireframe then select a rectangle then the, we have 60 here 30 from here and linear between these then you can use the scissors to cross all of these then go to 3d model extruded with 85 Let's look what's going on. Choose this and click OK. The same thing in this side. Choose this one. 
then look from here convert it then go to circle put 135 wireframe rectangle sixty here thirty from the center then add this relation between these and you can cut this with the scissors go to 3D model cut it and reverse the direction with 85 here And now you can hide this, make it visibility, check off, then select this face, then see from it. Now I have to add, or I have to uh, project this and add okay like a rectangle and you have to add the rectangle here like this one I want to add this one I want to add this one uh, put here 15 and 30 here you can see here look I have to okay because I will put the repetition in this direction and repetition in this direction select all of this and go to repetition select the first one this axis and put here 20 then the repetition like six times then choose another direction you can put here 35 or 38 then put 3 no but 4 ok 4 is ok then click here uh, check off associative and click OK. Now I will delete all of these in the exterior of this rectangle. Let's use the trim function and start from the nearest to the rectangle. Now we can uh, we can use wireframe to see more, and you can use selection to select all of this and delete it at once. Okay. Then another thing I want to explain to you if you go if you go to 3d model and extrude it you have a problem here you see that then you can't do that we have to extrude this zone not these go to extrude and then I have to delete this all of these go 
That's the last one. Now I think we can select it, then go to uh, shoes two, then choose this one and click OK. Now you can just uh, use the same thing. I will copy this sketch and I will paste it in this one. I think he understand what I want to say and go to 3D model choose this one and go to 2 choose this one and click OK then I will repeat this 7 times choose this a direction 90 and 6 here not 7 I think okay and validate mm. we did all of this in the next time i will explain to you how to put the location of the oil pump here and we'll add like some like this one to this face see you next tutorial if you like it don't hesitate to put like and uh, leave me a comment if you have any question thank you for watching Sorry.